Welcome to Art Books Tea with Picklehead Paints. Today we're going to be going over Libba Bray's A Great and Terrible Beauty Trilogy. We're going to be going over the benefits of Echinacea Plus Tea and also talking about what's going on in my art world. So <laughs> I am totally unprepared this morning. So usually I write out like a script of what I'm going to be doing and give myself a little bit of a, you know, basis. And today I woke up late, didn't even hear the alarm, didn't write out my video, forgot I had to do a video. My tea is late, it's too hot to drink. I can't drink, it's too hot. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what's going on today. Oh, and I slept in this shirt, so that's where we're at today. Moving on to Libba Bray's A Great and Terrible Beauty. So this is a really interesting book, I think. Um, the, it's set in Victorian era England and it's set in a school uh, for girls and it basically follows this group of girls and how their lives are in this school and how they basically have, in my opinion, created this um, fantasy world that they can step into to get away from their regular lives. Um, the fantasy world seems very real in this book. It's, um, you know, very magical, a little bit mysterious, uh, a little bit dangerous. So I think it's a really good um, kind of description of what maybe Victorian era England was like for girls, for school girls, where they felt like they needed to create a fantasy world in order to escape. And this book kind of shows you what that would be like if it were, if the fantasy were, world were real. So I really like the way this book is written. It's, you know, it's intellectual, it's um, interesting, it's descriptive. Um, I give this a four out of five pickles. This book is an older book. I read it about 10 years ago. So um, kind of bringing that back to life. There's quite a lot of books that are sitting on my bookshelf series and things like that that are older books that I really feel like need to be brought back into light because they are really good. So that's where we're at on that. Moving on to Echinacea Plus Tea. Um, so I got a little like sinusy thing from turning on the heat this last week and you know, I was sold it, so did my whole family actually. Um, and we just were not feeling so great. Um, and I always kind of turn to tea as medicine. Uh, Echinacea Plus Tea is something that um, is on probably every grocery store shelf. Um, it's basically like this Echinacea blend that really supports your immune system and helps boost that and it makes you feel better after you drink it. Um, it's a really great palatable flavor. For those people who do not like tea, this is really good. Add some honey to it, it's super tasty. For those of you who don't like to drink tea, they'll probably be able to drink this. So totally recommend that. Um, Echinacea Plus, it's an organic tea. Um, just look for it on your grocery store shelf if you're feeling a little crappy or you need some extra support during this cold season. <clears throat> My art world. So <clears throat> I have been so busy painting the studio. That's just like been taking up my entire life. This new paint party, party studio that I'm setting up, um, it's a good place for people to come in central Gadsden. Uh, it's on Broad Street. I was having to do my paint parties um, at, you know, different places and, and going to other people's, you know, houses and stuff like that. And it, it's really... Um, it's kind of uncomfortable to do that. So I would like to have a central location where people can come and do paint parties, kind of like a, you know, painting with a twist type thing. Um, and I create all of my own paintings. So you will be painting originals made my, made by me. I don't copy anybody else. Um, so everything is fun and we play music and we have a good time and I teach you some, you know, kind of some painting techniques and, um, you get to take a painting home at the end of the night. So that's what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm trying to get the studio up and running. My first paint party is on Friday where we'd paint that fun little haunted house that uh, maybe you've seen on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I'm doing private parties too. So if you have a, 
an office that needs something to do for the holidays, if you have a birthday party that you wanna celebrate, or you wanna do a girls' night out, bridal sh shower, you know, bachelorette party for those of you who don't wanna, you know, really go out to bars or whatever. Um, it's a fun little night, and I try to make it, you know, good for everybody. So, I love doing these. This is where, I, this is what I am focusing on right now. Have not been painting much. Um, but I am still kind of posting artworks on my Instagram that I have available for sale. So, you know, keep looking on my feed if there's anything that you're looking for. That's what's going on with me. I'm super busy, but I am loving my life right now. And I hope you go try some echinacea tea if you're not feeling so great. And uh, check out Libba Bray's A Great and Terrible Beauty. Have a good week.